whether it's emotional, physical, mental, financial, there are many arrays of abuse and someone around you may be going through it. My name is Zara Sagar, and I am currently the chair of the board of directors at my friend's house. Unfortunately, yes, I do know somebody who has uh, experienced abuse in their lives. It was a woman that's really, really dear to me. And, um, and I learned so much through that experience as a bystander. And even as a bystander, it was really difficult. I went through the whole gamut of emotions from anger to frustration to relief at times, every time she actually left her home to utter complete helplessness. And it was actually that helplessness that drove me to seek out my friend's house because I figured if I can't make the impact I really was hoping to in her life of getting her to a safe place where she could flourish and thrive, I would do that for as many other women as I could. So that's where I found my friend's house. My friend's house greatest strength is heart. In all of my years, through all of the organizations that I've been a part of, I have never encountered a group of people that have invested so much of themselves in their work. This team brings heart to everything they do. They are not here as a job. They are here because they see each woman that calls or walks in through our doors for who they are and wants to make an impact on that woman and child. And to have a team that is so innately integrated and committed to an organization's mission and vision is the biggest superpower that I could imagine. One of our focus areas is diversity and inclusion. It is of utmost importance to us that every woman feels absolutely comfortable and welcomed into our services, regardless of where she's from, regardless of what she looks like, regardless of what language she speaks or how much money she makes or how educated she is or anything, regardless of any of the factors in her life that she feels comfortable walking in through our doors. Similarly, on our board, it's also important that we are a representative entity of the community that we are serving and that different portions, especially underserved portions of our community are represented and have a voice at our table as well in order to strengthen our organization. My friend's house is here in order to help support the most vulnerable of our community. And chances are either you're in a situation that's not healthy for you or someone you know is. Whether it's emotional, physical, mental, financial, there are many arrays of abuse and someone around you may be going through it. And you can reach out via website, phone call, anything. We have experts standing by in order to help you in any way you want, whether you'd like to leave your home, whether you'd like to stay, whether you just want to have conversation and understand what happens and what could happen and what kind of support we can provide. We will guide you for what you want. So please reach out to us.